All right, you gotta be quiet as a mouse now. All right, I've already shown you how to do a add a plugin to your website, so I'm not going to show you that stuff again. But you need to add the quick AdSense plugin. All right. Once you do that, you'll get this page here for your settings. Now, to add your Google AdSense ad, what you want to do at the end of your post, which is the best place to do it, even Kelly's told you that in all their lessons and everything else, and if you get a site critique, they'll tell you the same thing. You click this and assign your ad at the end of your post. Now, I choose random ads. That way, my readers don't get used to seeing the same ad over and over and over from me, and then they just get to the point where they ignore it. And if you got loyal readers, that's exactly what's going to happen. And then you put it at the end of the post. Now, because I've already used up all of my Google AdSense ads, which you're only allowed to have three on a page, then I'm going to put in Amazon ads. And the best size ad that you want to use at the end of your blog post is 300 by 250. That is the best size ad to use, regardless of what affiliation network you use. And you can work with more than one affiliation network. I work with Amazon, I work with ShareASale, I work with Commission Junction, Media.net, Google AdSense. There, your choices are unlimited. Now, if you go working with a certain company and they have regulations against it, like Blogger Publishing, then you have to be selective about what ads you post, when and how. And it gets a bit more tricky, but that's more down the lines for an advanced user or an advanced blogger who knows what they're doing as far as coding and all that goes. I'm just going to highlight my code, copy it, which in your case, if you were doing Google AdSense, you do that like you do any other time when you add an ad. And then I'm going to put it in here. Now, I've already got an Amazon ad code in there. That's for something else that Amazon offers. But I'm going to choose Add To for this one, and then I'm going to save it. And once I save it, you can go to my website. And you see no ads on my homepage except for my Google AdSense ads, which show up right there. And my ad for my blog theme. And then when you scroll down to my end of my blog post, you're going to see the Amazon ad that I just entered, or the other one that happens to be there. And then, of course, you'll see my other Google AdSense ad there. And this is a share or sell ad. Okay? And these are sponsors that paid for me directly to post an ad for them. They reached out to me. Okay? That's how easy it is to add a Google AdSense ad to the end of your post. Now, if you want to change where you put your ads, you have the beginning of your post, the middle of your post, right after the more tag, right before the last paragraph, or you can assign it to different places at the end of your post. You can also add it after an image. Okay? You can do it all kinds of different ways, and you can play around with this with this plugin, and you'll find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you, and what you want to do and don't do. And then, of course, you also have the option of adding ads widgets right there to your web page. And if you put a code in there in an ad widget, you hit Save Changes. And then go up to your appearance, which I have to get there. I'm doing this one-handed because I have a little helper in my lap. He's trying to make certain I do this video correctly. He's trying to make certain that volume stays on. And then you can just, where it says add one as widget quick sense, I can just put that in anywhere I want it to show up. And you should see the change take effect right away. Which it should show up. Stop, Viva. 
right here's the Amazon ad see that makes it easier to add your sponsored posts or your sponsor ads on your sidebar as well this plugin is really truly an amazing plugin I love it um, I hope that helps answer your question about how easily it is to add your AdSense ads and you can do it based off of categories and subjects as well but that's a little bit more advanced and I haven't even really dipped into that to be honest with you but you can do it and like I said you can play around with the plugin once you get it you can even do a search on support for it and what have you alrighty I hope that helps you.